Hi guys, Evan from Atlantic Outboard here today. I'm extremely excited to announce that we are now Connecticut's exclusive dealer for Cobia Boats. Cobia offers a great range of boats, which is an excellent size for Long Island Sound. We just got our first stock boat in today. It's a 2022 280 DC. Has a length overall of 27 feet, seven inches, a beam of nine feet, eight inches, a dry weight of over 7,000 pounds, fuel capacity of 172 gallons, and a dead rise of 21 degrees. The Cobia has a cruising speed at 4,000 RPM, doing 29.3 miles an hour, burning 13.7 gallons an hour and getting 2.14 miles per gallon. Wide open throttle at 6,000 RPM is 47.8 miles an hour, burning 1.2 miles per gallon. Let's hop in and take a look. All right, we are in the massive cockpit on this 280 DC. Uh, our stock boat is powered with twin 200 Yamaha four strokes. These have the bolt-on electric steering option, which is really nice. So you're going to be able to steer uh, the, the boat with just your finger. We have five rollout rod holders across the back here. We have our live well off to the port side. Uh, underneath where I'm standing right here is our bilge access. So uh, it's quite impressive how much space is down there. We have our fuel filters, which is easy access to, our transducer, fresh water, holding tank, uh, pickup for your live down and wash down, all right here. Back folding seat is nice because if we're fishing and we want this out of the way, you can see that the cushion is on the inside so it stays protected from blood splatter or a knife or uh, you know whatever can happen while you're fishing. So if I lift this up right here, I'm gonna pull this seat out towards me like so, and you can see, pops out just like that. So we have a nice high backrest on it, which is really nice. You can see it's extremely comfortable. You can fit a couple people on here easy without trying too hard. Um, really well uh, layout. I like it. It's a super comfortable seat. Off to the port side over here, we have a matching as a starboard side. This lifts up right here, okay? And then we fold this out like so. Okay, and there's our seat right here. We have a USB plug in there, which is really nice. So you can see we have great wraparound seating. Same thing on the starboard side over there. Additionally, we have a, a table that goes right here. So if we're cruising and we're not fishing and wine and cheesing or whatever, we throw that table in. We have a great entertainment space that can easily be converted back to a fishing space. Honing in more on the entertainment space on the 280 Cobia DC, we have a great center for entertaining right behind the helm seat. As you can see right here, this little latch lifts up and I push this towards the outboard side. We have a great sink with cup holders and some light storage in here, which is awesome because as everyone knows, there's never enough storage on a boat. So the maximum we can get out of an area like this is extremely appreciated by all of our clients. We have our freshwater sink right here. Okay, um, easy on off use. We have cup holders back here as well. Again, never have too many cup holders on a boat. We have our refrigerator right here, okay? So that's a nice feature. Um, pretty decent size for a 28 foot boat to have a, a fridge uh, of that caliber, which is, which is pretty awesome. And over here, we have some great storage um, right underneath this sink right here. So in this entertainment center, you gain a lot of benefit from not losing a ton of real estate just for storage, refrigerator, uh, and access to anything you really want. The helm area has fantastic ergonomics on the 280 DC. We have a 12 inch garment screen right here with our VH radio underneath. We have our jail audio and our Yamaha gauge right here as well. Trim tabs are off to the starboard side. Port side, we have our windlass control. We have an adjustable uh, helm. Okay, so depending if you're sitting or standing, we have a nice glove box underneath here. Okay, which is great for your phone or your wallet or anything like that. Uh, push button ignition with the new Yamaha Helmmaster EX control box. And then we have all our switches over here, horns, spreader lights, cockpit lights, underwater lights, etc. However, my favorite feature on this DC uh, 280 from Cobia is this helm chair right here. As you can see, with the push of a button, this chair can go forward or back. It can also go up or down. That is so awesome for depending on who's operating the boat, whether you're sitting, standing, kneeling, leaning, excuse me, you just have so many great options to get extremely comfortable behind the helm on this 280 DC. Off on the port side of the Cobia 280 DC, we have some fantastic storage. Uh, so this bottom part lifts up. You can see we have some great storage under here. It's nice and deep, um, really awesome layout there. Now on the front side of this seat is actually where our batteries are kept. So you talk about great accessibility. It's really eye-opening how they can put the batteries in there. Such a great spot, easy to get to. 
easy to maintain if you need to. Uh, so that's a really nice feature. We have uh, this helm seat, or excuse me, this port side helm seat um, moves back, which is cool too. We just pulled this pin right here and it easily turns this thing into a lounger, right? Like so, locks in there. And you can see you have a nice lounge now if you just want to hang out. Again, you pull the pin, super easy to get back in place, lift up, put right back in, locks in like so, you're ready to rock. Now, one other thing I want to point out in this area right here is we have some fantastic storage in the deck right here. So twist lock just like so, great uh, storage right there for you know pretty much anything you want to put in. You want to throw some fenders, some rods and reels, whatever you want. It has a gutter drain system so it stays dry. Really well layout design here, awesome storage. Again, I keep bringing back uh, storage Storage on boats, as everyone knows, is the most important thing. And this 28-foot Cobia has a ton of storage. On the port side console is where a head compartment is stored. So easy twist lock to open that up. You have a gas assist shock that holds it open when you want it to be and easy to close. Uh, we have a pretty nice size head in here. We have a drain on the floor. So if you want to uh, rinse out the deck or wash in there, you can. It drains overboard. We have a freshwater sink off to the side here. And obviously that's our uh, flushable head system that goes into a holding tank as well. So pretty great layout in here. Easy handle to get in and out like so. We have a mirror in there. Um, and this whole thing shuts like this, locks up, and you're good to go. Center of the boat here, we have this windshield. Okay, it has a magnet that holds it up when it's not in use. Pretty strong magnet, as you can see there. So uh, allows a lot of protection, okay? If you get some inclement weather, it starts to rain, which is nice. Okay, we have a divider door right here, okay? Locks into place, so we have that windshield shut and this, no air is coming through. So on those cool fall days or early spring days when the water temperature is pretty cold, it's gonna keep you significantly uh, warmer behind the windshield here. Behind this door right here, we have some great storage. This is where our cockpit table and bow table stores. So uh, you can use the table at either station, but um, you can use it either place right here. We have breakers in here as well, but additionally, this uh, serves as some great storage, okay? Close that up. Close this up. Um, my favorite, one of my favorite features about this boat is where the battery switches are located. A lot of manufacturers, you have to get on your hands and knees, crawl in the builds, try and find them somewhere. These are extremely easy to get to. You have four switches right here. So we have a starboard engine, port engine, and then we have our house battery with an additional emergency parallel button. Uh, again, great feature. What that does is it joins all your batteries together if they're a little low. Hopefully it gives it enough juice to start the motors up and get you on your way. Okay guys, bow area time. Really, really well laid out designed area. Okay, I'm gonna start in the bow and kind of work my way back. We have our anchor and windlass through stem right here. What's nice is we also have a hose up here, okay? So you can rinse off your windlass after a day out on the water. That shuts like that. A really cool feature that a lot of our customers really compliment us on in the brand is the bow ladder. Okay, so your bow ladder stores here. It's got two quick release pins right here. So if you're anchored out of sandbar, you want to put your nose up on the beach, you simply unhook this ladder, lock it in, and you can use the bow ladder to get on and off the boat quite easily, which is a really, really nice feature. We have re recessed cleats all throughout the boat. We have cup holders on the uh, starboard and port side over here. Now underneath the seats right here, we also have some really nice storage. Lifts up like so. You can see it's gasketed. It has a drain that goes overboard. Really nice um, storage in here. So great place for life jackets or your purses. I love the armrests right here. Okay, so when you're sitting forward, you have great comfort right there. We have a handrail right there. So safety is a big concern with Cobia Designs or boats. And as you can see, this boat's extremely safe, extremely well thought out uh, and a perfect boat, not only for Long Island Sound, but boaters across the country. Another great feature on the bow area on the Cobia 280DC is this centerpiece is actually removable uh, from the port and starboard lounge. So I'm gonna remove this cushion right here. There's two quick release pins on the bottom. I'm gonna pop those up right there. And you can see we have great access now up to our windlass and our swim platform to get all the way up here. Now, if you're fishing and you wanna remove the bow cushions, you can use this space as well for that. Um, but if we're just cruising along and we just want some more seating space, we pop that back in and we gain an extra seat. Thanks again for watching our video on our new stock boat, the 2022 Cobia 280 DC. Myself and the entire Atlantic Outboard team could not be more excited to offer this great brand to the entire state of Connecticut. I'm Evan from Atlantic Outboard. Thanks for watching our video again. Don't forget to check us out online at AtlanticOutboard.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel today.